Thanks for the, the work of the Three Rivers Community Rail Partnership for organising this event. It was axed by beaching in the 60s, but the only cuts here today were to the cake. It's marvellous to see something that was considered a waste of time or a waste of resource and cut in 1969 be reopened and then prove popular enough to stay open and become commercial. There's about 10 to 15,000 people within a mile and a half of the station. So it's a latent demand for travelling into Southampton, Winchester and further afield. Since reopening, passenger numbers have steadily increased. I think it's really handy. It is. It's very handy. I mean, if it wasn't here, I think a lot of people would really miss it. So A lot of people do use it. Yeah, a lot of people do. <laughs> it means we can have a drink if we want to have a glass of wine with a meal. If we're going out, we can, um, and easy sometimes than parking. It's just really convenient. For the rail company, that means commercial success. There was a real appetite from the community. Uh, we had a really good partnership working with Hampshire County Council and other partners and it was obvious that this station would be the heart of the community, sustainable transport and delivering communities into the Southampton area. It's hoped the same business model can now be applied to other stations in the south. Ed Sherry, BBC South Today, Charles Ford.